now to China, slapping sanctions on two U.S. officials, this in retaliation to sanctions that were placed on them. Now, one of the targets, religious freedom leader Gail Manchin, that's the wife of uh, West Virginia Democratic Senator Joe Manchin, actually called the move flattering. Tony Perkins is the other American target. He is the vice chair of the U.S. Commissions on International Religious Freedom and joins us now. Tony, it's so great to see you. Uh, I, what, what do you Thank make you, of Charles. this? Just, uh, you know, uh, it, it, to me, it feels like finally the world is at least speaking up about some of the atrocities in China, and they are getting desperate in my mind. I, I think you're, you're spot on, Charles. I think what's happening here is under the previous administration where so much focus was placed on international religious freedom, it was our number one uh, foreign policy objective under the Trump administration. And China, the curtain has been pulled back on their repressive, brutal tactics used against their own citizens. And I think the reason they're lashing out, as you made reference to, is they are trying to protect their global brand because so many in the international community are saying, all right, we we know what you're doing now, and they're speaking out. And of course, uh, the, the big focus is on the Uyghur um, minority, the re-education camps, the brutality. Uh, and, and what's interesting is some memos must have leaked. Uh, I'm sure you know the story. H&M, uh, Nike, and some other uh, major Western retailers are now being shunned to a degree. And, and, the, and I think this is where the real battle is, Tony. Uh, these companies have no problem voicing their social justice opinions when it comes to America. Do you think they'll hold the line uh, with the, the, the religious minority in, in China who are being persecuted and punished and crushed, quite frankly, in the world that's watching? Do you think Nike and others will hold the line? Uh, it's going to be very interesting to see if they can hold the line on their hypocrisy. As you said, they're, uh, they're uh, social, social justice warriors here in the United States lecturing uh, everybody else. But when it comes to China, they're profiting. In particular, as you mentioned, the, uh, the Uyghur Muslims in the Sinjar province, province where uh, there's forced labor. And there has been evidence to suggest that that labor is in the supply line for many of these American companies. But let's not lose the fact, Charles, that there are many, many other people uh, in, in China that are being repressed and persecuted for their religious freedom. Christians are a part of the target. Uh, Falun Gong uh, also uh, being targeted for uh, totally brutal, inhumane. Uh, there's reports of uh, organ harvesting from some of these groups. So this has been a, an intense focus of the international community over the last year. And again, I think China is trying to protect their global brand, uh, what's left of it, by lashing out at individuals, uh, officials such as uh, Gail and I on, on this commission. But I can assure you this, we will not back down or shut up in any form or fashion when it comes to the brutal activities of the Chinese Communist Party and religious freedom. I know you won't. Tony Perkins, thank you very much. It's been far too long. Thank you. Great seeing you.